You guys, we are back with another episode of Kuroko's Basketball, Kuroko no Basket. And we are in season three now, episode two. And on the last episode, we got introduced to this menace, this Tokyo Revenger, this absolute gang member, this villain. Haizaki pulled up, started putting hands on Tatsuya and Alex. Kagami was about to put, he was about to put him in a blender. But Kisei pulled up and he said, yo, this is a dude that was on the starting squad when we was in middle school before I got there. Like, hey, he really nice. We got to settle this on the court. I need my get back because I've never beat him. So that's who he's playing in the quarterfinals game. And let's see how Kisei does against him because, yo, this dude got nothing but bad blood for everybody. So um, let's see what they get into. If you want the full version, make sure you join the Patreon. Link is down below. Get weeks ahead as well almost months uh, to be honest with you <laughs> but um yeah join the patreon man it's a good time over there and um make sure y'all like comment subscribe do all that right now so you don't forget to at the end of the video and um yeah that's all i gotta say for now without further ado let's get into it middle school scene why is you taking the food off my plate bro Look at how mean they trying to trying to protect him. This dude look like um soul. He don't play about his food. <laughs> Marissa Givari don't play about his food. You know him. All he does is munch. He be snacking. So you taking the food and you not even hungry. So you just greedy. This nigga so greedy, bro. Nah, I hate this guy. Look at him. He made he made Akashi's eye twitch. Nah, this dude is a dickhead. The food looks so good when other people eat. Nah, you a bitch, bro. You, you ever touch my plate? I'm taking the tray and I'm smacking you in the head with it, bro. You're bugging. I knew they would be considered villains. That's so only accurate. Of course. Of course he's a villain. The whole team is a villain if he's on it. You can't have the Joker join the Justice League and not call them villains now. Come on, man. Kazumatsu, show me some. Mmm. Mmm. Good handles. Kazumatsu been in the lab, bro. His time is almost coming to an end. He got to get him something. Good lay. Kazumatsu ain't trying to go out like that. Winter Cup is his last chance, too. He in the same boat as Tepe. Well, not exactly the same boat. But she get her. Damn. Hit him with the mean hezzy. Yeah, he just bulldozed through, straight jamming that bitch. No way. You's not like that no more. It's Kisei time, boy. <laughs> no way. No way, bro. Slap this boy in his cranium is crazy. Just absolutely smacked him on the dome. Oh my gosh. Yo. <laughs> yeah, I know the whole I know the whole crowd heard that shit too. Cause he ain't got no type of hair on his head. That just said crazy. Nah, after that one, you gotta fight, bro. You gotta fight. Nah, I I walk off the court. Matter of fact, I can't even walk off the court. I can't, nah. Because either way, you going out bad. Nah, I'm oh, I'm sorry for you, bro. I'm so sorry for you. His team going to give up on him, though. His team is definitely going to backdoor him. Oh, my gosh. Kisei, what was that dunk? The world. Oh, my gosh. That shit was raw. You know how he get copy. There go that copy. There go that copy. Yeah, talk your shit, bro. Him of all people deserves all of it. 
Our styles are too similar. Nah, you not. You can't. Don't tell me he could copy too. Don't tell me you could copy too. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't ride my wave now. Don't ride my wave. That's my whole bag. Don't try and get in my bag. You're not getting in my bag. Uh uh. Yeah, this guy's a villain, bro. This guy's a villain. This guy's a villain. And he got a copycat ability too. Sick. And he laughing too. Nah. Alright, some players can get away with that, man. Some players can get away with that. No way he better copy that style too. Copying the whole jump shot style? Cause he just went out of his way to say how unique it is. That's crazy if he can copy somebody's whole unique shooting style. This guy is the real deal, bro. I don't know. You you ain't seeing him. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Yeah, copy this whole shot style. That's outrageous. Mm -mm -mm. That's like somebody trying to copy Halliburton's play style after seeing him do it one time. Like, bro, you know how unique his shot is for you to go and copy it and then make it too? That's insane. Another steal. I know it's that line go crazy though. I'll tell you that much. Well, obviously, it's gotta go crazy since he is ball hog. Freaking presence on the court is OD. Damn, they snuffed it. Alright. Alright. Even though we know the outcome of this game already, this is definitely very interesting. Ah, uh, they already got a little game plan going. Yup, they got it scouted. So he can copy everything, bro. Rebound. Rebound. Oh, brother, there he goes. And he jumped even later than you did. Oh, my goodness. Bro, he damn near, he dunked on his own people, too. You good, bro. You good, bro. He the only one that's seen that's showing some real spirit, man. I like you. Uh, uh, static. Give him smoke. Give him smoke. Good spin. Damn, what a callback. Damn, that's a callback right there. Okay. Damn, he said, yo, that's mine now. That's mine now. I like that move. Yeah, he perfects it. Once he sees it, he perfects it. Like, it's no longer yours. It's my bag now, bro. Like, you can't do it the way I can do it. That's sick. Yeah, here come the anime shit, bro. You know what that reminds me of? Bleach, bro. It reminds me of Bleach. You stole their Bankai and now you can use their ability, but they can't. That's literally what this is. Yeah, bro. It's not your bag anymore. It belongs to me now. This man just collecting shit, man. And it plays into his character because he's so greedy, you know? It plays into the whole theme of this episode or his character in general. Like, they showed us at the beginning. Like, yo, he, he's greedy. Like, oh, that move looks so good when he does it. I want that move. Damn. So you said you not, you can't beat them, but you can beat him. That's crazy. But Kisei won, did he? He didn't. No, no, no. Kisei didn't win because he said he never beat him. It was Akashi that kicked him out, is what they said. So something must have happened during this game, bro. Maybe Akashi saw enough promise from Kisei to have him replace. But I don't know. Unless they started fighting or something, I don't know.
Because right now it seems pretty fair. Because this is similar to what Kagami and Tepe did. That's Kisei's girl? Nah, Kisei? Nah. Kisei. Oh, nah, she for the streets, bro. She for the streets. Good riddance, man. Nah, you ain't need her, bro. You ain't need her. You ain't need her. Nah. Nah. See, that's why they, That's why he got bad blood. Like, nah, bro. Disrespect me to my girl? Yeah, the get back is coming, bro. Trust. Watch, we gonna be up now. We up now. It don't even matter no more. I hope I hope Shorty's in the stands watching too. Get up, bro. Get up. No. Get your ass up. Kisei, lock in. Damn, they gonna end the episode. Wow. Wow. I said wow. Nah, bro. That's some disrespect right there. That's some disrespect. Nah, Kisei. You, nah. You gotta, you gotta turn up. You gotta turn up. You gotta turn up. You got to. It's mandatory. It is mandatory now. Before I was just doing nah. Before it was just like, yeah, you gotta win to get to the semifinal. Now it's mandatory, bro. This is mandatory. You gotta do it. You gotta do it to him. You have to. Nah. That's some disrespect that you just can't live with. Some disrespect you just gotta get handled in your lifetime. Like you can't let that go unresolved. This is one of them moments. Kisei gotta turn up. Get get up, stand your ass up, and lock in, man. If you gotta go in the zone, go in the zone. If he's good enough to put you in the zone, then hey, props to him. Cause yo, Kisei, you gotta turn up on him. You have to, man. He you copy, he steals. So there's a little bit of a discrepancy there. Which I do like. I do like that they, they brought that into play. You know, the the whole theme of the episode. I I was that was I I like that. I like that a lot. So yeah, it it really is similar to what I said about Bleach. So it's just like he takes your bag, makes it his own. You can't even use it anymore because your whole vibe is off now. You can't even you can't even do it anymore, man. So he definitely has them all beat in that regard. But like I said, I genuinely do think it's gonna come down to his teammates, bro. Like his teammates might really turn their back on him. But my only thing is like you gotta look at where they're at at this point in the tournament. Like this is a quarterfinal game. Are you really willing to lose the game just for the sake of getting back at this guy? Like it's, it's really gonna come down to how much they hate him. Cause you could tell they hate him. They absolutely hate him. You slapping a fire out this boy's head on on the middle of the court in the middle of a game where the entire crowd is watching, and I think they got cameras out too. So the game is being recorded. Like bro absolute humiliation like nah i don't know bro i don't know because i wouldn't be surprised if they do hate him that much to purposely lose this game just in spite of him but bro this dude is an actual horrible human being like he's an actual horrible human being bro watch him try and give us uh a little sorry backstory for why he's as big of a dickhead as he is like nah bro nah, i don't even need it now nah, trust me it's not gonna make me feel bad for bro it's not gonna make me feel bad for bro i'm sorry nah this dude is a dick like super duper like that's crazy but um yo they hooping for real though he he, he a hooper i give him that he 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 a hooper so i'm still trying to see what exactly led him to get kicked off the team like from what I just saw, it was a fair, it was a fair match. It was a fair little one on one. Like we did see a similar situation with Kagami and Tepe. You know, Kagami ended up beating Tepe because Tepe was nowhere near ready. He got waxed. He ended up getting in the starting lineup anyways, but that's not the point. But um, yeah, man, it was it seemed like a fair one on one, so I can't say that that's the cause of Akashi kicking them off. So what I'm going with is what I've been saying this whole time, where. They saw that um, potential that Kisa had. Like, he's developing extremely quick. Like, yo, he might really be one of them guys. Like, we got to have him on the team. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you got to get the boot. Kisa's in. Kisa's in. But then again, we do know that he doesn't care about basketball to begin with. Because even when he was introducing the last episode, he was like, yo, I, I don't care about basketball. I, I don't. So, 
it may not even have meant that much to him to begin with, so he probably just walked out like, hey, I don't even need to be here. I don't, I don't care. So, interesting character. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But, um, yeah, man. This just goes to show that Akashi's, like, Akashi's rule is absolute over these guys. Because it seems like whatever he says goes. Like, he's sitting at, he's sitting at the table when they eating in middle school. And he's he not even saying that. He's just looking irritated. So, it's like, what is it about Akashi that makes him, like, the absolute leader? Like, what is it about him? You know what I'm saying? Like, we did see his intimidation in season two. Like, we saw how intimidating he could be. But is it just that? Like, I feel like his skill got to match up with his persona so i don't know he's such an interesting character he's so mysterious bro we i'm glad this is season three because we're obviously gonna get get him get his personality get all of all the things we want to know about him we're gonna get all those answers but yeah man he's just, he's such an interesting character bro like for him to be as small as he is compared to the other guys on the team like him and kuroko are damn near the same size so for him to be that stature and for him to have all these guys like under his thumb basically like he, he just goes to show like he's really you you can't you can't mess with him you're not touching him so we're gonna see man we're gonna see hopefully kisei does turn it around in this second half of the game obviously they did if they ended up winning but let's just see what exactly he did to turn up maybe he got in the zone i, I think he might get in the zone if anybody would push him to the limits it's somebody that plays almost exactly like him so if he was to get in the zone as a result of this game, hey, you got it. You got it, man. But regardless, I know we're going to see Kise get in the zone versus um, Kagami. So either way, it's going to be fire to see Kise in the zone. I'm not mad either way. But yeah, if you enjoyed this reaction, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Do all that. Like I say, full version is on the Patreon. Get it ahead of time. Link down below in the description. And um, yeah, that's it for now. I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace.